What's good, I'm Nisha. Welcome back to another video. So we got a big update in FC Mobile, the April update. Uh, and some of the first things uh, that you'll notice when you log in are going to be uh, some of these new like UI changes. Uh, I mean, this looks cool. I mean, I don't really uh, want the premium pass. I'm also curious. It's interesting. The bottom one is the premium pass, but plus like 500 uh, along the way or something like that. So you don't actually uh, get anything more out of the second one than you would out of the first one, except you get like the first 20 levels or something uh, completed for you, but I mean, it looks cool, so I will give it that. Uh, we got some exchanges uh, or some changes to exchanges. Uh, we got spectator mode and some new gameplay, so we're gonna go check all of that out right now. Let's go. The other big thing that happens when you log in the game, though, you get this right here from Spain, the center back Sergio Ramos joins the squad in a 91 overall Ramos and 1250 gems, which I like. First thing we're gonna check out is the quest here because there is this new quest uh, down at the bottom. Link your EA account, link to your personal EA account and you get Mascherano 1000 gems and this EA Sports logo. So this is different uh, than linking to like your Facebook or uh, Google Play or whatever because I already have this link there. This is to the EA personal account. Now they posted some things about this on their, uh, on their blog, on the thing where they talk about all the stuff, uh, which basically says they're introducing another way for you to link into your FC mobile that will allow you to save your game progress. EA account will be a new option uh, uh, for players uh, the players can choose uh, among the existing options when available for logging in for the first time. Uh, if you already have an account, you can also link your FC Mobile account to your EA account anytime through the settings page. Uh, so in addition to a new way to log in uh, and save your progress, you're going to get the uh, Thousand Gems and the Mascherano and the EA logo for doing that. Uh, and so it's going to be available starting April 9th, UTC in limited regions and will roll out to additional regions throughout April. Uh, so uh, right now we have it... Uh, I mean, we're in Canada, so I guess Canada is one of them. Uh, but let me know. Are you able to get this? Are you able to link your personal account to this one? Uh, it's your EA account uh, to get yourself Mascherano, a thousand gems, and an EA Sports logo. Let me know in the comments below. The other thing we got new is the exchanges. Uh, and what's new about the exchanges is how the exchanges are laid out. Uh, which, I mean, I don't know how much I like this layout compared to the other one. I feel like I like the other one a little bit more uh, with it. But what's nice about this is it is a bit clearer, kind of, of 85 overall. And when you click on it, you can actually see how much the cards are valued at and whether or not they are a um an unauctionable card or a non-unauctionable card. Uh, so you can basically see here like how much you're going to be uh, losing if you put these cards into here, and you'll be able to see which cards uh, you're not able to sell either. So if you just want to get rid of some unauctionable players, you'll be able to see kind of uh, what that is going to go for. So I can know that these cards here are some unauctionable cards that I can put in there. Uh, so two players, I mean 85 plus, I shouldn't really be doing this, but I mean they're uh, unauctionable cards uh, that are, oh how many of these do I need? I need four of these? All right. Uh, don't pay attention to what I'm putting into this exchange. At least here, when I put my silvers in, they're going to be there. Watch this. We're going to get something really big. But this is the brand new exchange that we got here. And uh, Armstrong and 89, uh, putting in a lot more than 89s into that. So we're not going to do that again because that was a terrible idea. Uh, but that is one of the new things uh, that we got going on as well. Uh, they also said the animated card art uh, shows up when you claim the players as well. And you can see it in game, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then this is really cool. You can see a little thing up here above the leagues. This is actually... Uh, uh, the way that you can watch different matches being played. And so when you finish a match, you can actually share it uh, to the rest of your league mates for your league mates to watch. And so we're going to do that right now. We're going to react to this one. Uh, but I feel like that's going to be a great series. And if you want us to react to some of your matches, uh, let us know in the comments below. Maybe we'll join up with some different leagues, make a league where we can react to different players' uh, matches. I know there's tons of talent out there in Stop D Nation. So we're starting this series today. Stop D reacts to subscribers, uh, matches those things. This is number one right now that we're going to look at. We're going to watch this match right here. Uh, but uh, yeah, like uh, it, we, I think we, I don't know, maybe we set up a league. I'll set up a league. I'll start a new league. We'll let you know in the next one how we're going to kind of set that up uh, or go visit over on our Discord. Uh, we'll do some stuff there. But here is our first match that we're going to look at here. Uh, so uh, I'm excited to see this, uh, this mode where you get to watch other people's matches. Um... So we got a 5-2-1-2 two, two going on uh, in this one with Raul here. Uh, and then taking on another 97 overall, 4-3-3 three, three, uh, mid. So we don't have attacking formation in this one, but it's going to be a good match. We started this off. Holland is going to be there. And you can see we have some options that we can do too. So I can change the different camera angles 
uh, that we go to. So if we want to go at this angle, uh, get a little bit behind the action here, we can see Patrick Vieira going out to the side. We got this second one, which gets us much more involved in the play there as Holland goes in uh, for an early ball right there. Camera angle three, camera angle four, and then camera angle five as well. So it's a goal kick right there. Uh, the only thing is it does seem to reset when uh, the play, I can't actually I can't actually click it right now. Uh, so when the play is not happening, it's not working, but you can change the cursor to which team you want. You can have it go back and forth or just have it hide it completely you can turn the radar off and on you can turn the game uh the in-game commentary on and off and in-game sound effects as all it comes in and it was a man with a big goal right there and 11 minutes 13 minutes in it's a goal there for us men and uh they are up by one 13 minutes into this match let's see what other uh options we got for you so uh not much other than we can quit there uh i don't know if this is a share is this a share thing Oh no, that closed it. I thought this was a sharing button. I was like, I could share it out too. I mean, we're in the uh, we're in the uh, side of it. But uh, anyways, going down here, and oh, it's gonna look for this. He's at the top of the 18. He could get a shot off, a big shot, but Courtois with a massive save here. Uh, and then you can see over here how many people have watched it. I'm the only one that's watched it right now. Uh, so uh, just me watching this going on right now. So Roberto Carlos throws the ball into Neymar. Neymar sends it into the middle. A nice little turn. He gets in the box. Will he get the shot? He gets the shot. He gets the goal and it's a tie game right now in this one i'm gonna have so much fun running tournaments with this so a uh, nice show of support there uh from the player uh give him the thumbs up sign but we can quit that there but uh the base player tournament the base player tournaments those have got to be coming back we got some streams coming up uh where we'll do this so make sure to uh, stay tuned for that uh as we go in there so lots of fun to check that out really excited uh that that spectator mode is a feature in fc mobile right now I uh, can't wait to see what we're going to kind of do with that uh, moving forward as well. But uh, the last thing we want to do, we want to check out the new gameplay features that we got going on. Uh, so I don't actually know who my lineup is. We're going to go ahead and we'll see. All right. The first big change that I noticed here, substitutions right there, right away, which I love to see. Uh, so starting with this one. Also, uh, man, they are much faster uh, moving along the ball there. So I'm liking that from the players. That is definitely a big change. We're going to notice the passes feel crisper. The passes feel Feel smoother. I'm really tempted to try it cross just to see if it works, but uh, I don't know want to do it. I want to. I want to not cross. I want to see if maybe they all do a cross or something. But we do get a penalty shot apparently. So uh, getting a PK right now. Kane goes for it. Kane with the shot. Slides and falls over, so uh, it's a new update, but I still suck at penalties. All right, Frimpong, I want to see it. Yeah, do a cross. Oh, okay, never mind. Beckham gets there first, so we don't get the cross in there. Harry Kane, let's see it. Out to Pele. Pele gets there. Pele can't get past Romero. Uh, I really do want to just, like, I want to put a cross. I don't want to cross it, but I want to see if it's better. I want to see if it's better, and I uh, I don't know if they're going to get a chance. Oh, they might get a chance to cross on us. No, Van Dyke gets in there first. Messi, not the best place for a cross, and it actually actually was not a great cross. I mean, he was off balance. Uh, he wasn't really set for that cross, and you could kind of tell it in that cross that he tried to put in there. So uh, I like that for our first look at a cross. I mean, it was also inside the box, but, you know, it's uh, good to see that going on as we move this here. Messi. Messi tries it here. He sends it up, and uh, good look here from Messi. Uh, we're going to just do a really, like, off balance, sprinting down the wing. What's the cross look? Uh, yeah, see? I mean, we did score it. We did score it because Pele was in a very good position. Uh, but if you notice, I tried to go far post on that cross, and he did not put a good cross in. So I like that. I like that from FC Mobile. Uh, and, I mean, that's really just bad defense, I feel like, from the opponents. Roberto Carlos gets there. Stoichkov looks for this one. Uh, I don't want to do it again, but I do want to try it, like, again. Like, I just, I re really want to try crossing uh, so I can see uh, see how well it is fixed because we do have some good crossers on the team, too. So here we go. Look at this. Okay, so he's all by himself. He's going to try and go far post on this one, and uh, it goes in, but look at that. It gave the defenders time. It was a high arcing cross uh, that gave the defenders a chance to get there, so I'd like to see that. I mean, they thought we needed another opportunity. Let's try this. Okay, here we go. Like, a little bit of off balance. Yeah, not the best cross. Again, we're getting some crosses in there that are not beautiful crosses right to where they're going. Uh, I'm hoping that keeps up. I'm hoping that is not just like, a, you know, a couple tries in this one where it's working, uh, but let me know what your thoughts are on the gameplay. Have you been finding the crossing uh, is not as overpowered as it was, uh, or are you sad because you love crossing? <laughs> All right, Pele, Messi looks for this one. They're going to send it out. Beckham goes here. Messi 
Gets it to Harry Kane. Harry Kane looks for this one. Harry Kane, nice little through ball. And what a run from Stoichkov. And uh, I like that. I mean, the through ball's very precision based right there. Gives it a chance for that. You see, he goes off to the side, finds that positioning, and we're able to place it perfectly. I like that positioning on the pass. Uh, will it be overpowered? I mean, only time is going to tell if that is going to be uh, an overpowered move that we're going to have from that as Messi goes in this one. And we are going to give up a foul. Okay, Burkamp. Stoichkov sends it. Harry Kane looks for this. Almost stays on it, but they get it back. Fernandez looks for there. Roberto Carlos going in there. I want to see them get a cross. And okay, go for a cross. Go for a cross. Go for a cross. I want you to cross. Now that I want them to cross, they're not crossing. All right, Roberto Carlos to Pele. Pele goes with this. Harry Kane looks for that ball. The Messi. Messi tries to tap it out to the wing. And Stoichkov is going to go. Here we go. We got a defender. Oh, no, we don't have a defender on us. Again? I tried it. I mean, Emmy Martinez did not collect it, but not great cross is coming in. He's running down the wing. It wasn't a good cross. It was not exactly where I wanted every time. I did double tap it. Uh, but yes, this is this is so far something I'm uh, I'm looking forward to playing more games with. Good ball in the middle, but defender is in a good spot to stop that. Burkamp sends this one. They're going to move it up, and we're going to go to Harry Kane. Harry Kane's going to send it out to the wing. I must look like the worst, like, just, like, crossing every time here, eh? But I just really want to see uh, how it's going to go. As we go, nice little tap in. And again, it arcs up, and Emmy Martinez can come out to it. So that, another really good example of why I'm liking crossing right now uh, is that it's not... It, it, and it's not that it's not effective, right? It is possible to get goals on a cross, the thing is about it is that it's not every single time, right? You need to be in the right position. You can't just throw it into the box and expect a goal. Uh, it's more realistic, in my opinion. That's the thing. Like, yeah, they score goals from crosses, but the goalkeepers try to come out and block the crosses in real life, and that's what's happening right now. The keepers has a chance to get out to these crosses. It's not happening every single time. So that is the final score of that one. Uh, that's some of the new features. Let me know what your favorite thing that you've seen in this new update of FC Mobile is, but it's been an absolute pleasure as always. Thank you for checking this out and stopping by. Stop.